Hello everybody. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Bell. I'm a certified public accountant, so I'm not nearly as smart as Pro The Doge. I'm a long-term Boglehead investor. Boring! I'm author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. You can get an ebook or paperback. Pretty cheap. Cheaper than me spend Kevin's course. And I'm a freaking hater of cryptocurrency, which I believe is a massive pump and dump scheme that thrives off of ill-informed, poor investors who have no idea what they're buying and who eventually get burned by rug pulls or by a bunch of clowns that got in early and convinced them to buy in. Now, one of the most disgusting pumpers of cryptocurrencies, in my opinion, is none other than Pro the Doge, also known as the Dogecoin Millionaire. This clown has been on the internet for at least a year, probably a little bit more. I've been talking about this idiot for a long time. He's famous because he yellowed all his money, all his freaking money, into Dogecoin. And of course, because he's such a genius, Dogecoin went to the moon. It moved. And he became a millionaire. Now, what are the fruits of his ill-gotten gains and ridiculous YOLO? He now has 104,000 subscribers on YouTube. So he YOLOs all of his money, like an irresponsible idiot, into a worthless cryptocurrency. It goes up by pure luck. And now he's famous and he's a genius. But instead of, you know, selling his crypto and admitting that he's a gambling degenerate, now he's on here basically getting paid to promote other crap cryptocurrencies that are most likely going to end up as pump and dump schemes. So let's watch this video very quickly. And, well, we're not going to watch the whole video, obviously. And then we're going to go look at this token that he's pumping. It's called Millionaire Maker. Now, this video came out November 30th, today. Has 6,000 views. And hope probably all of his fans are going to see it eventually. Millionaire Maker token. Is it a scam or not? Hmm. Did you get paid, Pro the Doge? Did you get compensated to make this video? I think you did. Let's watch a stupid intro. What's going on, guy? What's going on, guy? What's up, guys? I'm gonna grift you and tell you to buy a worthless asset that's a pump and dump that I already have a stake in. <laughs> so, he talks about Millionaire Maker, which is a stupid token right here. And then we're gonna see some quotes that he says that are hilarious. Millionaire Maker. So we got a shiny Millionaire Maker car made of gold. Because if you buy this token, you're going to have a gold car, bro. Literally gold. Even the wheels, even the engine, even the gas has a little bit of gold in it, okay? Or the electricity if you're liberal and amazing. Millionaire Maker is a rug-proof decentralized BS, BSC to meme token that will give you a rock hard stiffy. <laughs> oh god these freaking idiots this experimental project was designed for one reason and one reason only to grift oh i mean no to create as many millionaires as possible that's how it works guys everybody gets rich you know you create a token out of thin air you propagandize people to buy it and then the original owners sell out of it and they make all the money and the people that bought in late get screwed how is this so hard to understand, okay? How, you ask? Our tokenomics, which they try to make it like this legitimate field. It's just supply and demand and grifting. Tokenomics. There's a fixed supply. There's not many tokens, and there's a lot of demand, so the price is going to go up. <laughs> Even though it's fundamentally worthless. We're designed to provide adopters a real chance. Oh, that's right. Tokens were designed to provide adopters the original adopters, a real chance to make millions by designing a token with virtually, ze virtually zero supply. Hmm. These people are geniuses, okay? So apparently this is the freaking link. I don't, I've never bought cryptocurrency on PancakeSwap. And, well, they have a chart. We'll check that in a second. Here's the tokenomics. Wow. I, I really love, they're so professional. Our team does not believe in all the BS surrounding taxing our loyal token holders. 90% of the projects include taxes to simply bend over, <laughs> bend over token holders and line founder parkins. The Tom Effery stops now. These people are so amazing. <laughs> the, <laughs> this is definitely a joke. The team studied tokenomics at Harvard University, so we know. 
<laughs> yeah, this is definitely a, a massive joke, but people will actually buy this. Throughout our term at this prestigious academic institute, we managed to create a tokenomics formula like to call the Holy Grail Moon Shard Gold Watch. <gasps> Look at that math, ladies and gentlemen. I bet the Dogecoin Millionaire is one that wrote that because he's such a genius. <laughs> Let me describe the high-break, ground-taking, and effing awesome formula. Wow. That's uh, low supply plus zero fees equals holy grail moon sharp. Total supply, 55 million. Blah, 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 blah. I don't really care. I'm not buying this and neither are you. So here's their grifting roadmap. The funny thing I like about here is they're going to get a New York City billboard because it's all about propaganda. You create a token, you propagandize your token, and hopefully a bunch of dopes buy into it, so then you can sell it to a bunch of dopes and make a bunch of money as an initial investor. And then their last goal is Elon Musk tweaks out Millionaire Maker to the Moon, because that's that's what it's all about is Elon Musk's. Everyone is a millionaire. <laughs> this is I mean these people know this is a joke, but the people that buy this don't. So here's the famous leaders, and of course their faces are covered. Okay, you got Doctor Millions, despiser of paper hands. Crazy Laura. Ooh, she's crazy. What do you what does that mean? Some would call her a nerd, a hippie, or extremely awkward. We call her DeFi Tech. She drives T Tito's and soda while writing code. Okay. Then we have Big Bob. Where's he big at? Wizard of all things marketing. He's a good scam artist. He could sell a cape to Superman. I mean, Superman probably needs a cape. Wood to a forest. And <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. This is actually really funny. And then we have Woody, Big Woody. And, okay, so this is Millionaire Token. Now, I mean, you think it's a freaking joke, and it is a joke, but people are going to buy this. And Pro the Doge, the moron I just had up, is pumping it. So here's the Million Token chart. Is there anything on here? Okay, I see a bunch of transactions. Buy, 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 sell, 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 sell. All thanks to this freaking loser right here. So let's fast forward to a couple key points in this video. So this first part, he basically, he said he interviewed all the creators and he makes it sound like, oh, this is, this is legit. And there's a low supply and high demand. So you can get super rich by buying this. That's basically what he's implying. And he's basically trying to justify to you to buy this because he's a paid shill and he personally benefits from it. So let's hear this first part right here. Of a billion market cap, which is not, outrageous to think about it reaching 200 $200 million for the market cap you know what i mean so it could be a billion dollar market cap bro early the early investors the early holders are definitely gonna see a lot of upside here um, the early investors like him are gonna see a lot of upside the late investors get screwed okay that's the whole point of this it's nothing other than that and this guy He's doing this. He's pumping this out to his fans who like him, and he's freaking screwing them, okay? Especially the ones that buy in late. But he's such a good guy. He's cute. He has a beard. Let's listen to this last part. Exactly where mine, where my uh, Millionaire Maker token holdings are at right now, uh, they did gift me $10,000 worth of their tokens. Um... When I first, when I first made it, and, and it's on Twitter, when I first made the post, you know, and I put hashtag ad there, you know what I mean? I'm being very clear about that. Uh, they did give me $10,000 worth of their tokens, and then I went and put $5,000 of my own money. So I, in total, I have $15,000 worth of the tokens, and it's up. It's up. Pretty, pretty. I mean, at, at its peak, I want to say it was at like... Uh, 40000 or 50, no, 60000 or something. Or something like wow, he's basically bragging that he made a bunch of money off his fans. So he bought, he had 15000 of his initial cost basis, and it went up to, you know, $60,000. What a freaking loser. He clearly admits to grifting off of his fan base, and you clowns go and follow him in. What a freaking joke. How does this man live with himself? Screwing his fans to make a quick buck. It's freaking disgusting. This guy is not cool. I should have used this freeze frame as a thumbnail, but <laughs> I already made my thumbnail. Anyway, what's the whole point of this video? I want you, if you've just found my channel, to subscribe, like, and realize that people like this are not your friends. They're screwing you. They're pumping horrible propaganda. And they're basically stealing your freaking money. So, screw Pro the Doge, he's a freaking loser. Screw Millionaire Maker. 
I want to learn more about Crazy Laura, though. And screw everybody that buys cryptocurrency or pumps it. That's it. I'm going to bed. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about me. I'll talk to you later. Cheers!